this was a surprise move. The markets are lower because of it, or partly because of it, but they're not falling, panicking falling. What does it tell you right now that the world's second biggest economy may be taking extra steps to try to shore things up? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's no panic because this was kind of one of those known unknowns, right? The reopening has not gone the way that China wanted it to. The property sector has been languishing, you know, for most of the COVID experience. But there were problems that were known even before that, the way they levered up over the past 10, 15, 20 years in that sector. So some known issues and, you know, ultimately ex expectations for the government to have to step in. I do think that the reaction is subdued and markets are off because, you do have to ask the question, how bad really is it under the surface? And if they're suspending the publication of key data, you do wonder, you know, all right, where is the transparency going? Does it mean there's something being obscured? Um, you know, broadly, it's it's bad for global growth if China is not participating. It, uh, You know, if you're U.S. policymakers, maybe you're happy. Maybe the reflation trade is a little bit off and commodities can give some reprieve. But by and large, it's bad for global growth. And I think you're seeing it reflected in the risk assets this morning. All right. So so with the U.S. markets, the way that they're reacting right now, we are seeing some fractional declines in U.S. equity futures. It's, it's nothing really to worry about right now, but it still shows a little bit of a sign of weakness. If you take a look right now at the way that things are shaping up, the Nasdaq, the S&P, they're all seemingly wanting to take a breather right now. But the earnings catalysts have been generally good. So what exactly is the concern right now if the conventional wisdom is becoming that the Fed is near the end of its rate hiking cycle, corporate fundamentals are still good, and the economy, specifically jobs, are still holding up. Why the downside move in the market? Look, I, I think you're right about earnings, but, but so it's enough to put a floor under the market. Corporate fundamentals have held up. They've not fallen nearly as far as they would or historically have during a recession. They've not fallen nearly as far as many forecasts. Um, but at the same time, there's not exactly the, the catalyst to the upside, or at least we haven't gotten it yet in the same way that we had that NVIDIA moment last quarter, right? So, you know, earnings are still falling, profit margins are stabilizing, guidance is fine. So it's not a, an upside catalyst, but it does kind of put a floor under the market. We do need to see earnings continue to accelerate into Q, Q3 and Q4, and especially 2024. I think right now the market is capped. You've got a, a forward multiple of right around 1920. I mean, that's that's a pretty elevated multiple, especially considering the move in rates. Um, sentiment has gotten hot. Positioning is maybe a little bit more offside than it's been. So I think a, a, an orderly breather here is totally normal. We're in a seasonal rough patch. But again, amid a broader uh, trend that's improved and against a broader cyclical bull market that we think has legs into year end.